time is supposed to be constant, and in some ways it is. Clocks will keep the same time, the earth revolves around the sun, but there's more to it. We all have a finite amount of time, but how long each discrete amount of time actually lasts is variable. For example, take my routine, up at 7.30, ball kettle, flick toaster, shit, shower, shave, clean tea, tea, milk, sugar, toast, butter. 36 minutes. Ignore lift, take stairs. Eat on that tube. Tube. Walk. Office. And I always, extreme delays notwithstanding, turn up just in time. So far, so constant. And yet there are occasions when time seems anything but. Tiny moments for over whole days since a stretch and tracked. So five minutes can feel like a lifetime. And five thirty is as far away as the end of the universe. As Fig One shows, although flexor time corresponds with clock time, the dips in between are different. There are certain things that always stretch time like black holes in your day. Waiting for lifts. When your girlfriend tells you important stuff. Your call is important to us, and all the operators are busy at the moment. The calls may be recorded for our amusement. Telephone banking. Travelling in lifts. French and Saunders. Sometimes even TV. I have a theory. If I sat watching shit telly with my girlfriend in a lift, it would be so boring it would actually break time. Conversely, other things even the average are racing by a fraction of their actual time, like quality time with a girlfriend. Success. And, well, life in general. I'm currently trying to ascertain a way to control this phenomena. I've recently realised that alcohol is a causal effect on the elasticity of time, so I'm looking into it. By the way, the film we just watched is exactly 58 seconds long. I know you're thinking. It felt longer.